Hello and welcome to my channel Paper Crafts. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make this beautiful and colorful honeycomb ball. This honeycomb ball is very beautiful and can be used as a decoration in your living rooms. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel Paper Crafts. Let's begin with this honeycomb ball. For honeycomb ball, you may require a scale, white sheets, one white square sheet of 6 by 6 inches, a needle and a thread, a pair of scissors, a marker, a glue and 20 different colored paper sheets. To start with the honeycomb ball, take a white square sheet of paper of approximately 6 by 6 inches. We need to make a circle out of this. So, to do that, fold it across the diagonal. Again, fold it along the half. Again fold it into half. Now fold it along this edge. To form a circle, we need to make an arc. To help with the marker of with the help of a marker, we will make an arc. Cut it along this arc. Now open it. A circle is formed. Take another white sheet of paper A4 size. Place the circle over it and draw a circle with the help of a marker. After drawing the circle on this white sheet, we will draw 5 equidistance lines. We will draw a, a line in the middle of the circle. We will draw 2-2 two, two lines on both the sides. We will name the outermost sides and the centermost side as A and middle lines as B. Once we have completed drawing the lines, we will take colored sheets of approximately 6 by 6 inches. Place the colored sheet over the circle and mark the reference points for along the corners. We will apply glue along the A lines. Place the another colored sheet over it. The 
this will form the first layer of our honeycomb wall. Now apply glue along the B lines. Again we will apply glue along the A lines. Again B. Repeat this step for the next 15 sheets. Once we have finished pasting all the sheets, keep it aside for 5 minutes to allow it to dry. Then the, uh, take the already cut circle and place it, paste it over the sheets with the help of a glue. Now cut the sheets into the half. While cutting along the half, make sure that you should cut along this half, not this half. Once we have cut the sheets along the half, we will now cut them along the semicircles. Once we have cut the sheets into the semicircle shape, we will now make it upside down and paste them along the B lines as the previous layer was pasted on the A lines. Now we will stitch it with the help of thread from on both the corners. While tying the knot, make sure that the knots are loose enough to let the ball open properly. Now open the ball. See how beautiful and colorful it is. You can either paste this white side with the help of a glue or hold it with the help of a paper clip. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Paper Crafts. Thank you so much.